hate and demon skimmers in our film animators. I don't know if I can even say that it's nice to see you guys again because like the video that I'm making right now is not nice nor is it enjoyable and it's rather exhausting that I have to make another video about me getting harassed to the point of me having a literal meltdown and it's not my favorite thing to talk about and it just stings so much more that this happened after everything that happened at the fair. I know I said that my next upload was going to be my 11,000 subscribers special, but unfortunately that has to be pushed back even more because I have to talk about this. The severity that this has been bothering me I want it to be shown and to be presented and to be used as a way to discourage people from treating others like I have been treated and hopefully making it to where people don't have to go through that anymore. Now this is obviously hard for me to talk about Because it's not fun to talk about. It's never fun to talk about you literally having a destructive meltdown at school. But again, I'm doing this to spread awareness and to have people more aware that their actions and words affect people and hurt them very, very deeply. It all started at the beginning of the day. I was entering the lunchroom with my friends after I was talking to my friend Lucky and their boyfriend. And when I was walking inside, I already wasn't having a very good mindset because the night prior, I was tossing and turning in bed because I was literally terrified to go to school today and I really wish I didn't but I had to which sucks that I feel that way but I was just scared because I knew that something was going to happen today and my intuition was right something did happen today and it happened not exactly as I had imagined, but it happened in a way that I kind of almost predicted. I kept on seeing myself just breaking down and like screaming and crying and thrashing and doing horrible things to myself, which it didn't escalate that far, but yeah. I had entered the lunchroom after walking with my friends down the hallway and these kids that I didn't see started meowing at me and that is what kind of made me break down. Not even made me break down, what caused me to break down and have a meltdown. I grabbed the chair, slammed it against the floor and just collapsed on the table and I just started sobbing like and grasping my like this with my head down trying to get all of it out but during this because of the amount of rage that I was feeling I started to bang my head against the table And I said something, but I don't remember what I said because it's a little hazy. And in situations like this, having a meltdown that severe, the details can be hazy and hard to remember. But I do remember very vividly just banging my head over and over again on the table and just thrashing around and sobbing extremely loud, like multiple people could hear me 
it was screaming while sobbing. And because of that, my friends were trying to calm me down, but nothing they were doing was helping. They hugged me, they tried to comfort me, tried to get me to breathe. I couldn't breathe. I literally couldn't breathe. I was shaking so bad that I just kept on screaming over and over again. And these kids kept on meowing. So when they did that, my brother was near me and people thought that I was yelling at my brother, but no, I was yelling at the people that were meowing me. And I slammed both of my hands down at the table as hard as I could and screamed at the top of my lungs, shut up. Cause I couldn't handle it anymore. I literally can't handle it anymore. And after that, they stopped. But after that, I just kept on sobbing even harder and louder and screaming even louder. I just literally couldn't breathe. My hands were becoming tingly. I was shaking extremely bad. And one of the staff members was alerted by one of my friends and tried to calm me down, but despite her efforts, it didn't really help. She got another staff member and that staff member was able to get me to breathe a little bit before I passed out because I was hyperventilating so bad that I was on the brink of passing out. And it's also worth mentioning that the people that I mentioned in the fair, Cheeto and Emo Shadow, they were talking about me in the lunchroom when all of that was happening. And, it's, and they were like, oh, look, the stupid furry is crying. They need to get over it. And like all this other stuff, I don't remember exactly what they said, but my friend Spade is the one that heard them. And they told me when I was in that state and I don't remember what they said, but I was exiting the lunchroom and I was still sobbing and like hyperventilating really bad. And I kept on going <laughs> like really, really loud because it was very hard for me to breathe. And I was escorted to the guidance office and we talked everything over and I had to, I, I wasn't able to go to any of my classes except for just one class because I was scared. I was literally terrified that I would get barked at again and the next meltdown would be worse. And the fact that I even have to think about that sucks a lot. On my way to ceramics and on my way to lunch, because I went to lunch with Kalos Baku or K. I was really, really nervous and I couldn't stop shaking because I was terrified that someone would bark at me or meow at me and cause me to have another meltdown. Which that didn't happen, thankfully. But when I was on my way to ceramics, I was having that same feeling, that feeling of fear. Being absolutely terrified that someone would say or do something. And again, nothing happened. But at the end of the day, when ceramics was over, we were exiting the building. And when I was walking my friends to the bus, those same kids that were meowing at me in the lunchroom, I believe, were meowing at me again. So I turned around, stomped really hard on my foot and told them to shut up. And that got them to be quiet. And Carter was saying stuff to them I don't really know exactly, like something along the lines of them being idiots, which they literally are. And Carter, I appreciate you standing up for me. And like, after I told them to shut up, they did. Cause again, if you scream at people, they're literally put into shock, which 
it's nice to have found that out now, it's just screaming is really straining, especially on my voice, because I don't like screaming. But after that, I just went to my, went to the nearest staff member that was out there and told them what happened and the kids who I assumed were doing it denied doing it and said, oh, well, we did at the fair, but we, we did not just now. And it's like, really? So I don't know if it was Emo Shadow and Cheeto because those were the people that were behind me. But at this point, I don't even know if it matters because they were contributing to the problem. So... But it's just very frustrating because I'm scared to go to school again tomorrow, which I'm going to have to go in late because I have an orthodontist appointment which makes me feel a little bit better because it seems that all of the issues that I am facing either happen in the hallway which I wasn't in the hallway at all during the school day except for when I went to ceramics or at the end of the day if anything I'm just like extremely exhausted and tired of all of this happening and it is very negatively affecting my mental health. I don't know what to do. I told the school about it and I don't even know if they know what to do and like I'm just tired of it because it's not even the fact of me doing anything abnormal anymore. It's just me existing that is an issue. And it genuinely feels like they want me to be dead. That's how it feels because why? I'm just existing. I apologize for another upsetting video, but again, the whole purpose of me making videos like this is to spread awareness and to make people aware of how badly this stuff can affect people's mental health and can be used as a good example as to why you should really try to stand up for people because just sitting back and doing nothing is almost just as bad as the bullying that is happening to that person and i just really wish that people would be kind But no. I don't know what it's gonna take for people to sit back and think of me as another human being. And it sucks. It is gut-wrenching and terrible. The amount of stuff that I have to go through because of this is unacceptable. I just really, really hope nothing else happens. Because I don't want to make another freaking video of me being upset and having to talk about things that I'm going through right now. Because it's not my favorite thing to do, but again, I do it to spread awareness and it is important for me to document this stuff. I just really hope to those of you who are watching, you have a good rest of your day, night, evening, whatever. And just remember you are loved by me and a lot of other people. I just really hope things get better for me and if you're going through anything I hope things get better for you too but that's gonna be the end of this bye